Hello and welcome to MBKM Models, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe and follow for more aircraft documentaries and model build videos. The Fairy Battle is a British single-engine light bomber that was designed and manufactured by the Fairy Aviation Company, it was developed during the mid-1930s for the Royal Air Force as a monoplane successor to the Hawker Hart and Hind biplanes, the battle was powered by the same high-performance Rolls-Royce Merlin piston engine that powered various contemporary British fighters such as the Hawker Hurricane and Supermarine Spitfire, as the battle with its three-man crew and bomb load, was much heavier than the fighters, it was therefore much slower, though a great improvement over the aircraft that preceded it, its relatively slow speed, limited range and inadequate defensive armament of only two 303 7.7A mm machine guns left it highly vulnerable to enemy fighters and anti-aircraft fire, the fairy battle was used on operations early in the second world war. During the Phony War the type achieved the distinction of scoring the first aerial victory of an RAF aircraft in the conflict, in May 1940 the battles of the advanced air striking force suffered many losses, frequently in excess of 50% of aircraft sorties per mission, by the end of 1940 the type had been withdrawn from frontline service and relegated to training units overseas as an aircraft that had been considered to hold great promise in the pre-war era, the battle proved to be one of the most disappointing aircraft in RAF service, in June 1937, number 63 squadron, based at RAF Upwood Cambridge, Cambridgeshire became the first RAF squadron to be equipped with the fairy battle, on the 20th of May 1937. The delivery of the first battle to number 63 occurred following further deliveries the squadron was initially assigned to perform development trials, the type holds the distinction of being the first operational aircraft powered by a Rolls-Royce Merlin engine to enter service, having beaten the debut of the Hawker Hurricane fighter by a matter of months, by May 1939. There were a total of 17 RAF squadrons that had been equipped with the battle, while many of these were frontline combat squadrons some under the number 2 group, were assigned to a non-mobilizing training role on the eve of the outbreak of war, these squadrons were reassigned to operate under number 6 training group or alternatively served as reserve squadrons, the battle was obsolete by the start of the second world war but remained a frontline RAF bomber owing to a lack of a suitable replacement, on the 2nd of September 1939 during the Phony War 10 battle squadrons were deployed to pre-selected airfields in France to form a portion of the vanguard of the British RAF advanced air striking force, which was independent of the similarly tasked army led British expeditionary force, once the battles arrived. The aircraft were dispersed and efforts were made to camouflage or otherwise obscure their presence. The envisioned purpose of their deployment had been that, in the event of German commencement of bombing attacks, the battles based in France could launch retaliatory raids upon Germany specifically in the Ruhr Valley region, and would benefit from their closer range than otherwise possible from the British mainland. Initial wartime missions were to perform aerial reconnaissance of the Siegfried Line during daylight, resulting in occasional skirmishes and losses. On 20 September 1939, a German Messerschmitt Bf 109 was shot down by battle gunner Sergeant F. Fletchford during a patrol near Ark and this occasion is recognized as being the RAF's first aerial victory of the war. Nonetheless, the battle was helplessly outclassed by Luftwaffe fighters, being almost 100 a miles per hour 160 a kilometers per hour slower than the contemporary BF-109 at 14,000 a feet 4,300 a meters, that same day, three battles were engaged by German fighters resulting in two battles being lost, during the winter of 1939-1940. The advanced air striking force underwent restructuring some of the battle equipped squadrons were returned to the UK while their place was taken by Bristol Blenheim equipped squadrons instead, the activities of the advanced air striking force were principally restricted to training exercises during this time, upon the commencement of the Battle of France in May 1940. 
battles were called upon to perform unescorted, low-level tactical attacks against the advancing German army this use of the type placed the aircraft at risk of attack from Luftwaffe fighters and within easy range of light anti-aircraft guns. In the first of two sorties carried out by battles on 10 May 1940, three out of eight aircraft were lost, while a further ten out of twenty-four were shot down in the second sortie giving a total of 13 lost in that day's attacks with the remainder suffering damage, despite bombing from as low as 250 a feet 76 a meters, their attacks were recorded as having had little impact on the German columns. During the following day, nine Belgian Air Force battles attacked bridges over the Albert Canal that connects to the Meuse River losing six aircraft and in another RAF sortie that day against a German column, only one battle out of eight survived. On the 12th of May, a formation of five battles of 12 squadron attacked two road bridges over the Albert Canal. Four of these aircraft were destroyed while the final aircraft crash landing upon its return to its space. Two Victoria Crosses were awarded posthumously for the action to Flying Officer Donald Garland and Air Observer Navigator Sergeant Thomas Gray of Battle Serial P-2204 coded PHK for pressing home the attack in spite of the heavy defensive fire. The third crew member, rear gunner leading aircraftsman Lawrence Reynolds did not share the award. Both fighters and flak had proved lethal for the battles. Although Garland's battle managed to destroy one span of the bridge, the German army quickly erected a pontoon bridge to replace it. On the 14th of May 1940, in a desperate attempt to stop German forces crossing the Meuse, the advanced air striking force launched an all out attack by all available bombers against the German bridgehead and pontoon bridges at Sedan. The light bombers were attacked by swarms of opposing fighters and were devastated. Out of a strike force of 63 battles and 8 Bristol Blenheims 40 including 35 battles were lost. After these abortive raids, the battle was switched to mainly night attacks resulting in much lower losses. A similar situation befell the German Luftwaffe during the early days of the Battle of Britain, when the Junkers Ju-87 Stuka dive bomber suffered equivalent losses in a similar role with the exception of a few successful twin-engine designs such as the de Havilland Mosquito, Bristol Bowfighter and Douglas A-20, low-level attack missions passed into the hands of single-engine, fighter-bomber aircraft, such as the Hawker Hurricane, Hawker Typhoon and Republic P-47 Thunderbolt. On 15 June 1940, the last remaining aircraft of the advanced air striking force returned to Britain. In six weeks almost 200 battles had been lost, with 99 lost between the 10th and 16th of May. After the return from France for a short period of time the RAF continued to rely on the light bomber, reforming number one group and later equipping four new Polish squadrons with the type. It continued to be deployed in operations against shipping mast in the channel ports for Operation Sea Lion. Their last combat sortie was mounted on the night of the 15th 16th of October 1940 by number 301 Polish squadron in a raid on Boulogne, and numbers 12 and 142 squadrons bombing Calais. Shortly afterwards battle squadrons of number one group were re-equipped with Vickers Wellington medium bombers. Battles were operated into 1941 by 88 and 226 squadrons in Northern Ireland and 98 squadron in Iceland for coastal patrol work. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening and until next time.